Who is the mysterious character on the train, and what does his presence mean for the next season of the Umbrella Academy? Keep watching because this is the Umbrella Academy Season 3 mid credit scene explained. Warning, spoilers ahead. By this point, you've likely made your way out of oblivion and found out that the world of the Umbrella Academy is not what it once was. Seems like the team did pretty well for themselves. Whilst with surviving samurai guardians, dodging a world-ending Kugelblitz, and double-crossing father figures? After facing off against the Sparrow Academy, with that team's version of Ben being the only one to survive the events of the season, it now appears that the timeline has been reset. Good news, right? Wrong. While Alison Hargreaves' hopes for a happy life have been restored via slightly villainous means, her siblings have been hit with the shocking discovery that they're now living without their powers. Could this be the end of the Umbrella Academy? Are the Hargreave siblings' heroes no more? So many questions and not nearly enough answers have been left behind for us to pick apart. Forget slowly collapsing realities and sentient cubes, this might be the worst timeline after all. Not content with leaving us hanging, the anticipation levels were turned up when we were blessed with a chin-scratching mid credit scene that gave us a dose of history repeating itself. Not particularly flashy in its execution, it nevertheless guaranteed that one of the cast from the Umbrella Academy will put in twice the work whenever the show returns. The only question is, will they get along? Or will tentacles get tangled up in the process? After the credits roll, we're taken for a familiar ride. Ending on how this season began, we see a train carriage similar to where Ben's biological mother gave birth to him decades before. The difference here was that Ben himself is on board, minding his own business without a super-powered worry in the world. But how can this be, as we just saw him storming off from his new stand-in family? As the show shot us forward, revealing he finally overcame his attitude problem and carried on with life? Not quite. As it turns out, this isn't the same Ben. The mild-mannered passenger with his nose in a book is the original Umbrella's Ben. With apparently no knowledge of the life he might have lived had his ruthless adoptive father, Reginald Hargreaves, snatched him up for the Academy. This means that there are two Bens wandering around in the world, just as Five suggested early on this season, before it was discovered the Umbrella Academy's parents had all been killed by Harlan. Odds are we each have identical versions of ourselves walking around out there, living completely different lives. Now we have a timid soul who never thwarted a bank robbery in his life, and another that would actively go out and look for one. With this small dose of double trouble factored in, what does that mean for the other Ben and the rest of the Hargreaves family? While we now have a spare Ben to deal with, there's more than one way to tackle a timeline. First, Ben might not be the only one we're seeing double of next season, given that the Hargreaves weren't present for the reset after being outside the timeline. That could make them anomalies, with no original slot in the space-time continuum to go back to. As a result, their doppelgangers might be wandering around the world just like Ben, having never enlisted in the Academy. Think of it like Marty's trip back to an alternative 1985 in Back to the Future Part 2, that sees Hill Valley gone to hell, with everyone believing he's in Switzerland. It's a plotline that feels similar to this year's season. It's like we're in hell or something. No, it's Hill Valley, although I can't imagine hell being much worse. If that's truly the case with the timeline repaired, they may have been returned where they left off, just with a different history behind them. This would explain Diego and Five being uninjured and Luther smaller and much less hairy. That leaves us wondering what's happened to his newly wedded wife, Sloane, who wasn't present like her other Sparrow sibling, Ben, or why a Reginald Hargreaves from this timeline appears to be more Lex Luthor than a cold-hearted Charles Xavier. One thing is for sure, we need the fourth season, and we need it today, tomorrow, or at whatever point in time we can get it. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the Umbrella Academy are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.